Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I am so happy that this renovation series, the renovation vlogs are back. If you missed the previous one, I did a bit of an updated house tour where I took you guys around what the house is currently looking like since the new year. We've had a bit of a break of a couple of months of not doing anything. After finishing upstairs, we just took that time to have Christmas, have new year, have a chill, rest and recuperate, and have a house free of builders for a while, of which this year we have kick-started with getting the basement underway and also the extension plans. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're on schedule to start that in March at some point. So I'll leave the previous video linked below where I kind of talk you through our plans and everything moving forward and what, what we're at now the stages that we're at there's a bit of a house haul in there as well with some new homeware bits that i've been buying mostly for upstairs but as it stands we have the basement guys downstairs in the basement right now as i'm filming this so if you hear any banging or drilling that is who is in our house currently we have cleared out the basement of which i've documented it all i've taken you through a complete before of what the basement looks like which we will see in a second and then i will see you guys back here where i have a bit of a haul of some new bits and pr bits talk you through the basement and the journey that we've had so far plans moving forward so i'll see you guys in a bit let's head on downstairs to the basement oh <laughs> is that procrastination i see i'm gonna do a quick video of what the basement is currently looking like ahead of us Yes, I like to put shoes on to go down to the basement as it stands. Um, ahead of the basement, guys, starting on Monday, which is very exciting. We essentially just need to clear it out or make sure that anything that is down there is okay for being skipped because that's what's going to happen. Everything that is in the basement will be going in the bin. There are definitely some bits. <laughs> there are definitely some bits. I always have to do a spider check before I want them to come that I want to make sure is cleared out. <laughs> Are you coming? Yeah. Don't mind doing this by myself. Oh, do you know what? The more I think about it, the worse it is. Oh, I just hope that I don't walk through any cobwebs. Oh, la, la, la. Let's put on all the lights down here. Oh, okay, let me show you this room. This is the main room that I need to tackle. This room down here, I'll leave our empty house tour if you want to see the basement as it was when we first moved in. But there's quite a few little bits, like all of this sort of stuff was already here. Um, we just need to go through, there's some drawers there that I need to go through, but there, the actual unit is just going to be skipped because it's like all mouldy now. Like this is just proof of it being damp down here. Can you see all that mould? So we just need it for, to be fully tanked, sumped, dry ready to be used as a storage room in here storage room in there there's no light in here so i'm going to get the door open because there is actually a door to outside in here this is going to be a utility room in here which is going to be the best thing ever with dog wash station and everything there's going to be a door here into a bathroom and then this is the another room that we need to sort out and clear out that'll be like the other side of the bathroom but yeah this room in here just has a few little boxes left that we need to sort through um i don't mind this room as much because there's natural light coming in it's it's weird it's like a basement i mean look these sort of things all, all just need to be ripped out the ceilings are coming out first thing on monday it's gonna look very very different look at this they clearly had some kind of target practice down here what did you say all right and this is tom's new cricketing contraption which is not fun I'm just going to go grab some bags. I think the way that I'm going to do it is just essentially kind of sort through stuff down there, bag up what I want to come back up here, and then uh, leave all the furniture or bits that I don't want down there. So I don't bring it all up to go through. I'm just going to go through it down there. What am I coming up for? Spare battery for this. Meanwhile, you're just going to have nice snoozies here. Isn't that right? What have you got on your foot? It's so cute. Went on a nice long walk so that this one was tired out for our day of clearing out and basement organising. 
despite the fact that all these cupboards are falling apart. We've got dishwasher on, washing machine on, there's nothing like a productive weekend. We've got wax melt burning in here. This is the Cuddle Up Tonka wax melt from Asda that I rave about. Absolutely love it. And the eight hour burning tea lights that they do as well. Makes the room smell amazing. Oh, right, I'm really trying to uh, do anything but go down into that basement right now. Let me get some bin bags. Or actually I might be better off with the Ikea bags I think because they're going to be a bit sturdier and can hold a bit more. I mean I'm all for a clear out. I actually really enjoy a clear out but when it's down in a basement not so much. A spider infested basement. Oh okay here's my spare bag. Let's get some of these and let's just do it. Basement, I'm coming for you. Oh, you up, Barney? You're meant to be sleeping. Although Barney knows not to come down here, don't you? I hope. Oh my God, there's a huge spider. Get out, get out. Get out. <laughs> Tom's gonna have to get that. I can't walk under it. <laughs> Got Barney all worked up. Oh. It's like going up in a loft. Going up in a loft or down in a basement. It's just, there's nothing fun about that. I can't wait for the day that it's plastered lined. What's the worst? What? It can't, it can't hurt me. Spiders in our basement, they're only the ones that are like tiny body, huge legs that most of the time sit in a corner and don't move. However, that one was crawling across where I'm about to walk down. So, so the thought of it falling on my head is no fun. I just wait for Tom. Can we see it? There's the stairs. It has worked its way over to the right now. However, still too close for comfort for me. Having to walk under that bad boy. No, thank you. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. This, if my parents are watching this, they'll be shocked that I had him down in the basement. My Simba. I had him since I was a baby. He's coming back upstairs with me, but I'm going to have to run him through a hot wash. Which he was probably due anyway, but definitely now. I remember that it's old. Yeah. You never break, you never lie You're never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop so this is the entire contents of our basement. There were fridges, freezers, washers down there. There was even a two pack post that we discovered in the wall. This since became, you'll see later on, the team mascot to keep the guys going down in the basement, which is looking a little bit different. There are ceilings that have now been taken down. Uh, loads of rubble, loads of wood and everything that needed clearing out. So many skips later and we have also had the builders dig out space outside to make way for a doorway which has been the best thing ever for the builders to be able to empty out via that doorway but also obviously for us at a later stage having access from the outside into this chamber room by having a door there i think will be really really beneficial it's just a phase and everything is going just great i think about you a lot it's almost like i can't stop can't stop yeah, yeah, I always knew that this would happen, yeah, you would find a new distraction, I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit, can we let go of tomorrow? So this is the size of the hole, it's all boarded up now because obviously with tools and stuff inside and it being the entryway to the house they do lock up 
every time they pop out. So these are just the old doors that were the internal doors for the basement. So um, yeah, once they are back in a minute, I'll show you like the progress so far to date where we're at. You'll be able to see the holes that they've started digging for ready for the underpinning for the uh, structural engineer. So it's very exciting. And then we've also been sorting out this drain system here. They've had to dig out the bottom of the stairs redo it all we've had drains guys come out and flush it all out because it was all blocked up and also we've had a camera inspection down there and noticed that there is damage to the pipe so we need to get someone back to fix that that is where we're at on the kind of external side to it we're still deciding what to do with regards to both sets of steps both these ones and these ones obviously they're like the original stone um very steep not the sturdiest not the safest as you can tell even these rails aren't even fitted properly so we need to have a little team talk and decision on what we do with the steps but the fact that we've added what will be a door here as well I think is going to be really really beneficial to us to have this external access as well on this chamber and the steps are going to be running down here in to the room we're very much using this outdoor shed for storage until we've done the extension and everything this is tom's new gadget that he's bought he absolutely loves it it's a gosney oven it's called it's actually really nice it looks lovely let me show you the color of it all of it is that color and it's one of these like you can see the fire inside it's like a stone plate he did a full lamb something or other on that the other day and it was honestly delicious you can do like pizzas and all sorts in there so excited for this in the summer months we'll be able to just look out well i was going to say to a beautiful garden but actually the summer months we'll probably most likely see the extension builders and hopefully by then the, the basement will be finished in a few months time but yeah barney can run around in the garden we can have pizza on the go food in the outdoor oven very excited for the day that the extension's done doors open into the garden can't wait and by that point it certainly won't be a muddy mess like it is right now as for internally in here i can just hear that the builders have got back so i'm going to go out and share with you what it's looking like but yeah this door is currently out of action because there is no staircase anymore down into the basement this is our sign no stairs do not open and it's been bolted shut so that We'll have no accidents but yeah let's head on outside i can hear that they are back first sign of spring right here what little snowdrops in the garden these were all the uh wires that we pulled off of the um ceilings you never break you never lie you never ever scared of the dark so why am i the one who cries i'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot it's almost like i can't stop I see we've still got our mascot standing strong. This is where the stairs used to be. Getting ready for underpinning. Right, so this was the old bathroom which has been knocked through, built up, and then this will be the new entryway into this bathroom which is actually quite a big space, bigger than we thought. This is where the old toilet was that's been ripped out. And then this frame we've had um, built to be able to kind of just level out this wall. Because if you remember, it was kind of on an angle. And then this bit will be the understair storage, which is what we're thinking like wine storage or wine cellar. Kind of a bit of a feature wall. This room's not really been touched too much just yet. We've got um, a couple of the holes dug out ready for the underpinning. This just kind of shows you an example of how deep this is. I mean, it's probably actually quite hard to tell on camera how deep that goes. But these are the foundations of the the house, the footings. So the way that they get underpinned is kind of like filled with concrete and stabilised. And obviously you can't do it all in one go because the house would fall down. So they're in numbered sections and ready to go. So that's the next stage moving forward, which obviously I'll document into the next episode. So you'll see probably quite a big transformation in the next episode. And these are those doors which you could see from the outside leading on out. So we'll be able to, um, once we've dug down a bit, this will be a doorway here, up, out and up. We've also had the steel put in there to support these beams. And then obviously because we've had this bit blocked up, which was a door beforehand. And then as well as this steel, we've also had 
On this side, concrete lintel just put in to again add extra support for these uh, joists here. Think about you a lot. So after clearing out the basement, which was not as hard as I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest with you, because when we first moved into this house, we stored a load of things in the basement, non-valuables, things that are just materials, just stuff, you know, there was nothing sentimental down there. We have a mold problem. It is very damp down there, far damper than we thought it would be when we first moved in. So all of the stuff that we stored down there wasn't trashed, it wasn't completely ruined, but obviously the mold got everywhere. I had a big clear out with things like clothes. I sorted through anything that was completely ruined, things that for dry cleaning, which I still have a pile of things that I need to take to dry cleaning, and then things that were in good condition because the sealed tubs were actually fine, and I've just donated a load of clothes. So it was all the other bits that kind of opened to the elements bit that got moldy, photo frames, everything like that, all the back of them got moldy. So we just skipped it all, skipped the lot, start afresh there's clearly stuff down there that we've had over a year and i've not missed so that's kind of the the way that i sort of just went through everything took out what i needed to and let the basement guys thankfully they were absolutely fine helping us skip all empty it's kind of part of the uh, job they came to see it when it was full and he just said make sure anything that you do want is gone because we will be getting rid of the lot. I'm talking ceilings coming down as you guys saw, um, pipe work and everything being cut out, old pipe work that was dead and kind of re-plumbing, re-wiring, doing everything like that that it needs. Basically the first fix, plumbing and electrics have been done down there now as well and yeah. It's all exciting stuff. The stage that we're at currently, we have a structural engineer coming in two days time to just check in with the guys downstairs, kind of give a go ahead on a couple of bits for them to be able to crack on, underpin, which we've decided to underpin the entire property. There was signs of structural movement at the start when we first bought this property and before buying it, we just had that checked out. Didn't need to be underpin this property, it still doesn't, however, Having seen where the footings are with the house, it meant that we weren't gaining much headroom height of which we needed more really, especially for that space to be able to be mortgageable. It has to have a minimum height of 2.4 meters. It was shy of two meters. So we needed to just, and Tom's a tall guy as well. We needed to get that ceiling height so that we could just benefit from it ourselves really. We're having a utility room, hopefully maybe a gym. So we needed the headroom height. So. We took the executive decision to underpin the whole property, which was an expense that we kind of had in the back of our mind that we might end up doing. It's not ideal. If the foundations of the house were lower, that would have been the ideal solution. However, that wasn't meant to be, the case wasn't meant to be. And we have been into the neighbors' um, houses which were built at the same time and they have basements and we've seen their basement renovations without the underpinning, without the digging down too much and, it is enough headroom height, however, we're just gonna gain that little bit more, so it's gonna feel less like a basement, especially the fact that we have natural light coming in as well with some windows in the rooms. It's just gonna feel less basement-like, and obviously the walls are gonna be fully plastered, painted, decorated skirts, flooring. It's gonna be really nice down there, so I can't wait for the day that that's finished. I'm thinking around about the three-month mark for that to be finished, give or take, a month or two because of the fact that we're now underpinning which has probably added an extra month to our time scale um so it will get to a point in a month or so whereby the um extension builders which is a separate team that we've um got on board will be working alongside the basement guys but because the basement guys have access to the house without needing to come in the house it's quite ideal for us, especially if we've added a second door now as well down there. So they don't even see us. Like we don't even need to see them. They just crack on. It's more when we start the extension that I think we'll really feel like we're back in a building site. Now it's the sounds of the building site, but I don't really have to see it unless I go actively outside to see it. I have lots to update you guys on. I'm going to be doing these renovation vlogs series type videos a lot more often if you're a fan of the house homeware content. 
if you do want regular kind of in the moment updates <laughs> then you can find me over on instagram at Frey frankton home where i do lots of stories and i highlight them per week and i also have been doing a little bit of here and there videos of before and afters reno series videos on tiktok Apparently it's the place to be right now. And to be honest with you, I'm loving it. Anyway, I've just got a couple of bits that I wanted to share with you. Firstly, if you remember in my last video, my homeware updated house tour, I bought this from the White Company, this Pimlico table lamp. If you remember from that video, I kind of styled it up in this master bedroom. I'm in our master right now. Styled it up here and um, noticed there was a pink mark on it, if you remember. I did exchange it, so I've got a brand new one. However, I have had this delivered. It's not the best way of showing you here, but we have this irregular shaped mirror from Arigi Bianchi, which is a local homeware store. They're based in Macclesfield, South Manchester. Um, but they have online, they have sales on at the minute and everything. The, this is in sale. I've also got my little wax melt burning. This is, if you know, you know. This is the Asda wax melt in Cuddle Up, which is Tonka and Oud. It smells incredible. And these little tea lights I love because, as you can tell, they're clear. They're from that brand Soster and Gren, that homeware store that I talk about. There's one in Altrincham and one in Manchester. It's lovely. They do these big bags of clear tea lights for a couple of pounds. So they're just unscented, but this smells lovely. I've got some Valentine's flowers over there, which Tom very kindly got me for Valentine's. I did go all mushy on him and decided to... Uh, book tickets to go and see Celine Dion in June because we kind of both grew up listening to Celine Dion with our our parents so yeah we're going to see Celine Dion in June I feel like we're going to feel like the youngest people there because my parents are actually going I feel like it's definitely that generation that loves Celine Dion but because they listen to it so did we so we love it too anyway I also got these which I wanted to share with you and kind of get your opinion on I picked up some samples from blinds to go because we need to get something sorted in this bedroom now i have curtains and we're going to get the joiner back to properly fit that mirror on the wall and also the poles to fit the curtains so we might actually save the shutters getting shutters and blinds fitted until the full house is done but at least then we'll have curtains in this room so that's what i'm thinking then again having said that i do think this window here would be nice with just shutters so we might just do the upstairs ahead of time before downstairs is done uh so blinds to go i just love this service of being able to just order a load of samples for free delivered straight to your door free postage there's nothing to to pay and then you can really see in person the different kind of color so our window sills are kind of a it's called white ash so it's a slightly warmer toned white as opposed to a brilliant white so we have these all uh these samples of blinds for the rest of the rooms but what we're going to do is we're going to do the cheap version have shutters maybe on the front of the house the windows on the front of the house and the rest of the rooms just have wooden blinds that's what we're thinking um and then these are the samples of the shutters because shutters are quite a bit more expensive than blinds but i do love the look of it and i think on the front of the house it's it'd be nice and let me just show you against the the paint and the woodwork so that you can see a comparison clearly need to dust up here but it's going to be quite hard to compare but if you can see this one being snowdrift and fresh white has that oh it has got a wooden effect see that's quite a brilliant white in comparison to our windows so i feel like that's a no but then i don't want it too yellowy so i actually think this one's the better fit that's quite a good match but i do want to go quite bright so yeah i think this one might be nice brilliant white and snowflake is that definitely lighter than that hmm decisions decisions so one two three four five i've actually got five pr packages that i've been sent which i just thought i would open within this video with it being sort of a vlog style video so if it's not for you if pr mail unboxing isn't for you then i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i hope to see you in the next reno series if you do like this kind of thing look at this first package i've just opened it and realized it's not even for me it's for barney so he's at um daycare at the minute because there's a lot of loud drilling going on and I thought get him out the house have him run around with his friends I'm gonna go out and about and run some errands today and yeah anyway so I can't get him to have a good sniff of this but it's from the brand 
nude. Oh look, they've even got in here a bowl, tennis ball, which by the way, he is the chief tennis ball destroyer. That should be his title because there's only one brand that I have bought a tennis ball from and it's called Mongrel London and they are white tennis balls. I think they have pink ones as well actually. It's the only tennis ball he's never destroyed. The rest of them, he just pulls out this fuzz. So we'll see if this one stands the test of time with him. This is the actual food that they've sent him to try out. We do donate um, dog gifts toys food that he gets sent because he's a doggy instrument he gets sent pr mail too uh, we do sometimes donate them to the doggy daycare that he goes to because they are part of a dog shelter dog rescue program so it's amazing lf beauty box have sent me this so look fantastic do the monthly beauty box monthly roundups of some um products this i thought was genius i have opened it from its main package but i had to include it here because look how cool this is it's like a constantina fan shaped package with each day having a different mask in how cool is that there's even lip masks in here i love medicaid as well this one is the ultimate recovery biocellulose mask eye masks hand masks they've honestly got a mask for every part of your body from pixie pixie are always generous with their pr packages so they have sent me from the Rose range. I've tried a few products from their Rose range before. My favorite is the Glow. I'm currently using the Glow Tonic as my tonic water. And my toner sort of after cleansing. Love it. So we've got a Rose Oil, a Glowy Powder, a Lip Nourisher, and a Radiance Perfector. Oh, can you hear that drilling? That's the basement. I've just had to run and switch out my battery, but I just thought I'd show you this as well because I forgot um, to show you at the start of this video, I was gonna show you. It's a new lamp, which you may recognize from my homeware dupes video. It is duping the white company one. Let me switch around, I'm in the spare bedroom. We have the spare bed set out like so. This throw, by the way, I absolutely love it. It's like a waffle um, texture from Magic Linen. I also have the towels and the flannels in my bathroom, uh, like the main bathroom in this same kind of material. And it's honestly lovely. So yeah, I just have the throw on this bed set out with these towels as if we've got guests staying all the time which we definitely don't this little weighted eye pillow as well i think i got that from primark it was in a haul recently anyway but yeah this is what i wanted to share with you this little kind of setup here i have on my drawers i use these drawers for my clothes so this lamp is from aldi and i did purchase this in store i don't know if i've seen it online or not it comes with the bulb and everything so it's super easy to just plug in set up and I've just switched it out this area to include a lamp because I do feel like it just softens the room. Having a lamp, I find it a lot less harsh than a light. Like I feel like a light is just very wool, you know? <laughs> So if you've got people staying, you just want it to be nice and cosy. And because of this mirror, which is from William Wood Mirrors, by the way, I do quite often get ready in this mirror. So I just have my cereal magazine, Live Beautiful book, which is actually a really good coffee table book. Let me just show you. This is from that JYSK brand, Yusk, I think you meant to pronounce it. But yeah, this Live Beautiful, Athena Calderone. Look at that. Oh, the Crystal Doors. It's honestly a major inspo book, this one. I love having a little flick through. I mean, look at that. Oops. Love that kind of cabinet. I really want dark walls in our, what will be our kind of dining room, living room at the front of the house, which is currently our living room kitchen, pre-renovations. I just, I'm thinking black walls and a big white fireplace. Love it really nice book i got that on amazon i'll leave it linked but yeah i just wanted to share with you this lamp i thought it was an absolute steal i think it was you remember from that video it's 29.99 or 24.99 can't remember but it's just like the one on the white company which i think is about 195 pounds anyway back into the bedroom oh my god that wax smell just smells so good i also got some bits sent from l'oreal revitalift resurfacing gel wash yeah anti-aging and then the toner as well which has five percent pure gly glycolic acid in then we've got the eye serum and the face serum i think these are the kind of hero products that l'oreal do and then last but not least oh more from l'oreal actually i hadn't opened this yet so i hadn't 
seen what was inside. Color Protect range. So they've got, I love how it comes in this little hanging case. Shampoo in here and conditioner. Now this Wonder Water, I've not tried this Color Protect one. I've tried the, the one in the orange bottle incredible so good but when i used it the floor went quite slippy so be careful for extra thick hair use two to three doses and for extra long hair as well use an extra dose on top of that so i used this twice two or three times i get out of that be generous with it and amazing highly recommend that that's everything that i had to share with you i feel like i'm gonna keep this a vlog here and here and pick it up again after the structural engineer has been in two days time because that's when the builders will really crack on and get going with the underpinning which I feel like is going to be quite interesting. So they've currently numbered the sections and they're digging down there's huge holes down there which is quite scary and they do it whole at a time stage in stages so obviously the house doesn't fall down we have lots of little bits on the upstairs that we have to finish off like snagging list of bits that need to be done we're going to hold off and probably just do them all once we've fully renovated and get someone in to just spend a good day or two here just doing all the snagging bits like this for instance it's a little mark there that will need repainting over this that needs to be fit like smart meter here i've got more little marks and scuffs and little chips that we need to fill in banister is getting redone in black as well so again there's bits that need to be filled in before that's done so there'll be sort of stuff that we can do at the latter stages of the end of the renovation i can't believe that who knows by this time next year we might live in a fully renovated house that would be exciting i mean we've still got obviously the garden maybe an outdoor kitchen that we're thinking about doing so there's projects further on down the line but to have the house done would just be so good anyway Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thumbs up if you're a fan of the renovation series videos. More to come, so stay tuned by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.